Yes. Wow! Hey, what am I seeing? Good to see you. Good to see you, Tim. You look good. How are you, Tim? I'm fine, Father Mike. How are you doing? Thank God. I'm sure my parents must have bombarded you with questions. Wow, they tried. I, they tried a lot, but <laughs> I never accepted you told me anything. Okay. Uh, so, I hope you're on the right track. With the girl? Yes, yes. Um, but I think that it's time I start unveiling myself to avoid something going wrong. Yes. But first thing first, you go home and see your parents. I hope you're coming with me. Sure, I will. <laughs> sit down, sit down. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Start going. Uh, yeah, all oh, right. We have to. My only brother, Timothy, of course. I guess you are dreaming. Girl, oh, wow. if you are dreaming, wake up from your dreams. Oh, because I don't understand what you are talking about. Mother, I am not dreaming, neither am I joking. Yes, you will call me some article asking my whereabouts. Then I took them left and right of what to be there. Are you now sure of this? Yes. Please come inside so your dad will hear what you are saying. Yeah, darling. <laughs> uh oh, open the door. <laughs> uh, my friend Kim is really worried. Have you heard from Timo? She hasn't seen him or heard from him. It's strange. To be honest with you, I have not seen him. As a matter of fact, I passed through his shop to hear people complaining about his attitude towards his new business. Listen, I suggest we should go and see his father. I'm just coming from there. Oh, you think I'm resting? No, I'm just coming from there. And the man said he hasn't even seen him or heard from him. Nobody knows where Timo is. It's so strange. Why would he behave like that? is confusing. If he's not here, then where could he be? I don't know, but um, Kim feels he ran away because of the way his father treated him while he was staying with them. Uh, uh, that's another issue on his own. Yes. But I think whatever be the problem, he should have at least come home. Let's talk about it. Exactly. Whatever he's going through, I don't think this is the best way to go about it. It's just, it's just so strange. I don't, I don't, I don't know how to figure out all these things. Like, I don't understand him. I do not understand this is pattern. I just pray he's okay wherever he is. Yes. His love is special. He does my.
Wow! Wow! <laughs> You're welcome. What have we done wrong? Where did we offend you? Mother, I'm sorry. Huh? What did we do? Mother, please forgive me. Father, I'm, I'm, I'm so sorry. It was all for good. Mirabel, how's your family? I hope they are good. Yes, my dear brother. I told you more than you called me. Father Mike, you have some explanations to me. But Dad, it wasn't Father Mike's fault. I made him promise me never to share this with anyone, no matter what. I will explain everything to you, Father. Please. I'm sorry, Father. It wasn't Father Mike's fault. It was all my fault. And I was already on track with my adventure. The type of girl that you will fall in love with. And you would say, son, it was all worth it. Wow. What a man. Who is that man who prepared to stand in a position? He's a noble man, a carpenter. He welcomed me with open arms and with clear heart. I truly called him father. About the point we agreed that you would be calling me from time to time to forget me and voice me. What happened to you? Why did you stoop so low to become a maid servant in another man's house? Father Mike, I was in the middle of a deep blue sea and the fire and had no time to seek for ideas or guidance. So I relied on my intuition. I'm sorry, Father Mike. I'm truly sorry. Food is ready. Wow. <laughs> so let's move to the dining. I'm fine. Have I said? Really? So can we go? Sure. Um, sorry. This I have to love you right there. Like that, his love is special. He knows my heart, yeah. He gives me joy. He gives me happiness. He's my lover. He's my lover. Rap for me, yeah. Don't break him, mama. Rap for me, mama. Timo, Timo. Delicious. Mm. It's been a long time I ate a well prepared meal like this. Mm -hmm. My dear, you made this soup so well. Thank you. You're welcome, my dear brother. Mm -hmm. You know, I had to prepare something very nice mm -hmm. to enable you to fill up some places. <laughs> because <clears throat> you look to me like someone <laughs> that just returned from prison. Mm. You can say that again. So, this man you said you are starving? I, I think we're not even with that. I don't think so, Dad. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, we have connections on into places and uh, you should know which stuff for which. Dad, I know what you're capable of. But trust me, he is way below your league of friends. You see exactly why I didn't say anything from the beginning. That, these things are not done that way. But when I'm involved, 
Dad, don't worry. Don't worry. Everything will work out. Trust me. Mm. Don't worry, Dad. Right now, nothing can stand between me and this and Mrs. Hope. What? Dad? Enjoy your meal, girl. Chicken. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Mm. For the mic. <laughs> good food is good food, especially yeah. when it's homemade. His love is special. He knows my heart. He gives me joy. He gives me happiness. He's my lover. He's my lover. Thank you, Papa. Your friends have been asking us to come in here. Don't worry. I know. I know. Um, I'll get to them later. For now, I came for you. Hmm? Yes. I want you to meet my parents. Your parents? Yes. I thought you told me that your parents are late. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry about that. Those were one of the lies I told to keep the chief saying. I will like to meet them. Yes. I mean it. I will like to meet the parents of a good boy like you. They are looking forward to meeting you. I, I will not wait them to meet hey. Let's go. I received all manners of this I had a call.
Timothy. Sir. I never knew you have a wonderful family. And you are this humble. Why some of your men that make the teaching send me something to the elders the way they like? Hmm? It all depends on how they were raised. Yes, my son. You are very raised you well. You are very raised you well. And we are a person who can protect ourselves from the society that is in front of him. You know, giving him a word of advice and talking him what was the tell us something I will be for a long time. Chief, you are so, you would fail to walk, okay? And we have blinded all. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. And that's why I have to work everything around. You know, I've been to a few times because he told me that uh, you do not have a home. And I um, also established something that you can get him to balance so you don't have to stress yourself again. Thank you so much. 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 Thank you Thank you so much. 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 We still have to play along till it's over. There's no problem. I hope you understand. Just play along. It will be over very soon. Hey, it's a wonderful act. Sorry, Jenny. I don't see any possibility of what you ask me. Please, Chief. Today is my birthday. And all I'm asking is for you to just Allow him to come with me. I just want to cut my cake, take pictures, drink juice, and before evening she's back. Please. Chief, please. Jennifer is, is not an outsider. She understands what is on board. She knows the reason you stopped Kim from coming out. But today is different for her. Birthdays, like she said, is something one spends and celebrates once every year. Let's allow our daughter to go with Jennifer. I mean, she's remained in that place for too long. Okay, if she were to be a working class girl, would you have stopped her from going to work? Is it because she's an obedient child and has agreed to remain in that place? She's been there for too long. Please. So after all this your long episode, if I say no, you hold it against me? Oh, is that a yes, sir? She's in her room. Oh my god! Thank you so much, Chief. Thank you. Mommy, thank you so much. Thank you, God. It's hard. Thank you. <laughs> so why do you say that? Because I don't want her to keep being stuck in that room. Because it might affect her psychologically. I don't know. I don't want that for my child. It's alright. Girlfriend, I thought you said we're going to your house. Yes, but um, firstly, I want us to stop at the supermarket to get one or two. Then we go home and enjoy. <laughs> Thank you so, so much for bringing me out today. My head would have exploded in that house. You don't have to think. What are friends for? <laughs> it's alright. Let's go. Thank you. I missed you. I missed you too. <laughs> I'm happy to see you. Like, I can't wait. I can't wait for you. No, I mean, I can't wait for us to get home. Okay. And then just and enjoy. <laughs> you Jenny you told me we are going somewhere only for you to bring me here and told me you want to see someone in the car I just wanted to say hi to someone then we continue no problems could you please go to the car say hi to the person and come back let's go Kim calm down you're making me to lose trust where just you are I'm not going you think I'm joking <laughs> 
<laughs> oh God, Kim, don't be like your father. Let's just go. <laughs> Why are you baby like your father? <laughs> Joe. So Joe is the person you wanted to say hello to. Yes. Hello, Kim. Mm. What in God's name is going on, Jenny? Joe! Mm. <laughs> the thing is that I, I'm surprised as you are when uh, Timothy drove me to my company and started telling me stories. Stories about what? Mm. A lot. Where did he get the car from? <laughs> A lot. You're going to find out. Just come on. Relax. No, I'm, I'm, I'm nervous. What is going on? Let's go to my house. My family is waiting for us. There, you will know everything. Are you serious? All the answers to your questions. I await you in my family house. <laughs> Let's go. Where's your father, the carpenter? Hmm. <laughs> that one too is another story altogether. We're just realizing that everything has been age. <laughs> you mean the man you introduced to us as your father is not your father? Yes. Why in God's name did you do all of that? Kim, I understand you have questions and I have answers for you. Let's go to my family house. Let's go meet my family. Let's go. Princess. Ma, what are you saying? Ma, it's just that I overheard Jenny and Sister Ken discussing about something before leaving the house. I don't understand. What did you hear? Is she not free to go see someone? Or did you overhear them say they want to go see a man? No, no, Mom. So what did you hear? Mm, I'm not really sure. Francis, I don't trust you. It's like you know something and you're hiding it from me. No, Mom. I'm sure of what I heard. That's a lie. It's either you're covering off your sister or she sent you to come find out if I overheard them as well. No, Mom. I'm only concerned. Like, I don't want a situation where back if dad comes back and I say something different. You know, there's no problem with that. If your father should ask you, tell him you don't know. Simple. Or better still remind him in his presence, Jenny took him. Mm -hmm. That was exactly what happened. Just stop this your like that, His love is special. He knows my heart. And uh, the truth is that we have something like this again in Abuja, in Accra, in South Africa, and in New York. 
<laughs> yes, yes, yes. So, uh, hopefully, I will be traveling with you and showing you all the ones too. You know? My father loves to make sure we have a baby everywhere we take vacation. Thank you. Well, I have to put in one or two contributions when we're designing this house. This area is my design so that you can have a swimming pool here. You know how it is. I <laughs> hope you like it. Yeah, I mean, the place is amazing now. I couldn't have met you if I didn't disguise myself to become a poor, you know, poor happy man. The one you had pity on. <laughs> Lots of them. So many of them. With awkward characters. They came too much. I was drunk. I knew that the only way out was to disguise myself and change my personality to that of a low life. It was all a game. It was all a game. Baby, see, I need money. I want to buy my groceries. I want to buy. Um, my handouts, you know, and um, some of that small, small things like that. It's cool to make my education faster. I need to be okay to, you know, to do my exams. <laughs> Babe, I just told you something. Yeah, I was just. Wear your seatbelt, please. I can make noise. I was just trying to calculate, you know, how much all of that will cost. Okay. Um, I have a pen on the bio. Let me just calculate them here. <laughs> mm. Okay. My. Hand out um two hundred thousand two hundred um my toiletries say two fifty thousand mm, what else I need to change my panties and my bra my undies saying. 200. Um, I want a new watch. <laughs> uh, Rolex. Um, okay. No, Rolex is expensive. Okay. I'll just buy a very good watch. Say 500. We do until let's say like 4 million. Wait, 500 what? 1000. Ah. <laughs> then maybe say give until let's say 5, 4 million. 4 million? Mm -hmm. mm. Okay, that's not much. Yeah, of course. Are you sure that's all you want? I'll just manage it for now. I, maybe two weeks time out, I'll then do something again. For now, that can be fine. Mm. Mm -hmm. That's right. Yes, baby. So why are you giving me the money? Why are you giving me, I, I, write, write, write me a check? Um, I'm sure you accept Bitcoin, right? Do you have a wallet? Oh, Bitcoin. I don't do Bitcoin. Oh, just, oh. Give, just do me a check. Okay, check. 
Well, check is outdated. I'm sure that that check might bounce in the bank. So I'll give you Bitcoin. You can buy whatever you want. That's why I said let's go home. I need to see how she's faring. Before, before we get home, she should be my daughter. To get the that treatment. Like now, 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 now. Then go, we can pass here later. All right. It's okay. How much? How much would you get? Right? Just tell me how much you get because I need you to clear. All right? <laughs> Are you listening to me? To buy what? My birthday. The birthday? Yes, baby. I want to celebrate my birthday. I'll make it big. It's a couple of times. Diane, Diane. Last week you were on Instagram talking about how awesome your birthday was a while ago. Does your birthday now happen every six months? Hmm? Listen. That's tough. I, I I did that to, to get some some attention, you know, like to get money from him and stuff. It's not so this time, are you doing this to get someone's attention? Hmm? What do you mean? That's not fair. Wait, are you saying that I am using it for business? I'm asking you. How come your birth dates on Instagram, Facebook? YouTube and the rest of the social media are different. Huh? Different birthdays, different era, different times. Sweetheart, I just explained something to you right now, right? I don't get. Fine, just forget about it. Cause I, I see, I see you. You are making jest of me, right? You are making fun of me, and it's not funny. Just forget about it. It's fine. Do not come close to me or my body. Do you understand? Will one million be enough for your birthday? Maybe so what? I just want to know what it will take. <laughs> Look at it. Baby, Leave me alone. Look at you. You have head money. You have head money. You are head money. You are baby me. Here. I thought you wanted to speak. Come here. Go to bed. All okay. I don't know how long you celebrate your birthday. No! B. Yes? Why are you staying at me like that for? What did they do? Nothing. You're amazing. And I can't just imagine you in another man's arms. I think we have to take this to another level. First of all, I do not know what you mean by that. And secondly, I am so innocent of all your positions charge. <laughs> no problem, Miss <laughs> Complainant. <laughs> but hey, on a serious note, I want us to take it to the next level. I'm confused. What do you mean? All I can think of is you as my wife. Marry me. 
I want us to spend the rest of our lives together. Will you marry me? ever use the money I give you before demanding for more? I do not understand. Like, maybe sometimes you just come out from nowhere and then ask me strange questions. I don't understand. Wait, do you think I save all those money? Oh, or you give them to me to save because I do not understand. And the way you confidently demand for more. It seems like you know where I stashed them. Right? Okay, right about now, I'm confused. What are you driving at exactly? Have you ever wondered how I make all that money? What I do for a living? We listen. It's not all men that like to be asked such questions, okay? I'm sorry, I'm, I'm sorry for not asking you in the first place. I'm not bad. It's my fault. I'm very it's sorry. Okay. Forgive me. Okay, baby, so, what do you do for a living? I still need to talk about that. Find out yourself. Baby, listen, man. It's not like I know how to cook. I cook very well, my love. You know. But you see, this local food I wish to buy, the food is very good. It tastes better than my own. Way better. You can't even compare. And you know me. I can't begin to pretend. I must say the truth. Okay? Yes, uh, babe. Can you listen to yourself? So what you're trying to tell me is that all these families don't cook at home because the food they get outside is nice. Huh? Yes. Yes. But you see, you, in fact, I regret saying the truth to you. I regret being played to you. And this is why most girls pretend this is it. <laughs> it's none of my business. Yes. But listen, this is the last time I will spend my money and eat out. Okay, I can fool the bills of, for now at least. Baby, listen, I can... Diana? 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 Diana, wake up. Wake up, please. Wake up! I'm hungry. Don't make me food. I'm hungry. Go to the kitchen and cook something for us to eat. Come on, please. What is that? I thought we are done with this issue. Done with this issue? The only thing we are done with is the fact that you have made up your mind to cook. And that's what you're going to do now. No, baby, come on. Baby, I, I told you that I would put the bill. I told you that I volunteered for Diane, I know you, okay? This is the games you play. You're not serious. How long will you continue to do this? Huh? At the end of the day, I'll be the one to pay the bills. 
and you would find a way to skin more money out of me. Huh? Listen, if you are not going into that opportunity quick, right now, just know that from this moment, I'm not going to give you a damn, no matter how you Wait, 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 wait! Don't me! Babe? woman do I have in my life? A grown-up girl in this day and time cannot cook. She can't cook. She can't do anything. She can't do anything for me as a man. She's useless to me. What is this? All she cares about is to demand for money, money for this, money for that. Just spending my money. That's all she knows how to do. Something useful, she won't. No. Because it's a pure life. Yes. Can't go on like this. Can't go on like this. Can't. I can't. This minute, with this hair, that hair, new phone, this stuff, that that, this stuff. All sucking me. It's like a push straw in my body and she's trying to suck me dry. I don't want that off my life. I will lose my mind. I will definitely lose my mind. Like I'm losing my mind right now. I need some peace in my life. What kind of girl is this? I'm tired. I'm tired. Look at the way I'm here ranting like a madman. I'm restless. I hear, I hear so many of them. Most of them are awkward. You know, the drama of students. That's what I'm telling you to. This guy is my personality. Put down my life. See? He was watching this guy a while ago. Francis! Francis! Mom, I'm here! I was washing this guy a while ago. Where did he go? It's not here. I, I don't know. Maybe he's inside. Or probably he went to the restaurant. Go look for him and give him this list. To go buy all these listed items. It's for night food. Okay. Because if I change my mind now and send you, that is when you have all the time to go greet all your friends along the street. Like this shop. And if they want but, but more, what is wrong in me greeting my friend saying hi to one or two people? That is the point. You will spend all the time greeting them, thereby coming back late. Go give this thing to Timothy. Let him buy it for me. His head is still on his neck. Oh, he share the macaron. Okay. Remember, it's going to leave one day. And I still be here for you. And don't worry, let that time come first. We will know how to cross the but for now, go and give him to buy this thing for me. Thank you very much. Okay, Mom. Mm -hmm. Everything is not about money and wealth, but determination in one's life matters. This life you must give to receive. If you give love, you must receive love. If you give 
That is now working for her father as a boy boy. She left a giant like me, a dogu like me for that riffraff. Is she not a waste of money? It's bad. All you know is money and. What is that? I don't blame you. Listen, that is nothing more to life than the frustration that we need to resume. Talk, 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 talk. That is all you know how to do. And you're still in this position with this cheap wears on you. Listen, like I said before, no man will love you. Nobody will marry you. Or be located. Are you going my way so I can just drop you off? I will never go your way. How will you even go my way? Because it's very obvious you're frustrated. <laughs> and if you're not frustrated, you will not leave your car as the big boy you claim you are. So come down to come and argue with somebody you feel is nothing. But my dear, what do you know? Nothing. Go home and start. They are waiting for you. Look at you. What are you up to now? Huh? Prostitute. Right? Prostitute, you are nothing but a frustrated oh, prostitute. Baby girl. Go to the road. Baby boy, should I say baby girl or baby boy? Animal. Oh, hey, don't even touch me. You need some so that you feel all right. Because as I'm seeing you right now, you're not feeling all right. You need a lot of. Really? Yeah. I will smack you with this, my walking stick, right now if you talk more than your mouth. You don't know me. Do you know who I am? Huh? You don't have respect? Uh. Animal. Look at her. Go to the streets. That is where you belong. Let me go my way. Frustrated cannibal. <laughs> All of you will suffer. All of you will suffer. I'm doing well. I'm doing well. Yes. Everything is not about money and wealth, but determination in one's life matters. In this life. Father, it will be too bad that uh, you know about how to help me and you are not doing anything. Thank God you know the answer already, Chief. So break it up. Uh, Reverend Father, let us not preempt over this issue. What I know is that you are, you know, in the door of the education where my son is. Help me out. You, Chief? <laughs> no, your son will be okay. Well, I know I may be going against their rules, but I'm like a father. I, I, I should know where my son is and how he's buried. Still, it is not the right thing to do, Chief. Your son will like it. Oh, it's alright. What I, I take it all from me. I, I'm ready to pay any price 
Oh, as long as you can tell me the location. Even if I'm going to be on their breast cheek, everything will be on my own terms. Yeah. Well, oh, no, that then you were out there now. No, 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 Chief. No woman is coming with us. Yeah. One set. Okay. One set. Thank you for the feather. Thank you. Come on. I'd like to ask you a very simple question. Go ahead, my love. What if tomorrow we'll find out that Timothy is a prince, probably from another kingdom or son of a wealthy man, and just trying to get me as the love of his life, and you all are treating him like this? What if that happens and he decides not to have anything to do with me again. This is so good. Is this what you call a simple question? You know, I just felt it now. Oh, what if... I don't get it. I don't see why a full grown man like Timothy will accept the self us and his father stood for him for nothing. I don't know. I have never treated him that. I've always treated him like my own son. But if one day he wants to settle scores, it's us. He should face your father. I mean, he will heartless father to take his pound of flesh and not me. See, so, so mom, your son Samson, will you ever allow him to go through all of this? What for? I know to know is doing all this for now. But to what end? To put the point to who? And I ask again, for what purpose? He left his only source of income to no one to attend to it, like you said. I mean, there is more to things that meets the eyes. Timothy mm -hmm. has not fully told us who he really is. So let, let me ask you, my child, is this what you call a simple question? Yes, mom. It's very simple. I yes. just wanted to know. Because of late, I've been having this wild imagination. Are you serious? Yeah. What is giving to me? Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you. Wait, 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 w
Timothy, is this where you are? Do you know him? Yeah. Uh, and, uh, yes. Um, I, I, we went to his house to work. My father and I went to his house to, to do an old forestry work uh, some time ago. Good day, sir. Well, will you shut your mouth? Idiot. Who asked you? Every time you're running your mouth. If you are less busy, go to the kitchen and find yourself something doing. Sorry, sir. Sorry, sir. Uh, you're welcome, sir. Uh, my father. Sorry about that, Chief. Uh, it's not a problem. And it is exactly the way the young man said it. I stepped in here. Saw him and was so surprised. <laughs> I can't remember when last we met. Uh, <laughs> Chief, please sit. Let me get you a seat. You cannot be standing. Yes, as our guest. I can't remember last we we saw ourselves. <laughs> uh, it should be maybe twelve years uh, way back. And, uh, yes, oh yes, uh, probably yes. a long time. It's been a while. How could you remember? Oh, he he was here with me then. <laughs> He barely do not forget anything once he has seen it once. <laughs> Father, you are welcome. Thank you, Chief. Uh, please be fast. Get a seat for the Father. Remember to get us something. Your father and Reverend Mike doing in, in my father's house. I don't know. I, I don't understand what is going on. Okay, but the last time I went over to give them some wine glass, I overheard them talking about uh, the contract from from the company that needs to be reactivated. But I know that's not why my father is here. My God feeling tells me that he's here for something else. That's not why he's here. They were saying that just to disguise their conversation so I don't get the true meaning of what they were talking about. I'm confused. I'm so, so confused. How did these men even meet each other? This can't be coincidence. It can't be. I wish I can get to Father Mike to find out what my father is up to. No, for Father Mike to come along, it's a string my father is pulling. I am so sure. <sighs> Nevertheless, I still need to speak with my mother. She must know what my father is up to. Let me try and find out if I can get some information from her. Okay. Right. Thank you. There is a better way and a better company to do it. Think you are in the right place. Uh, I said <laughs> exactly what I told them when we were discussing this. I, I told them that you are the best hands to consult. And that's why I had to make the journey myself. You did well. But this time around, <laughs> you will see the latest technology in town. <laughs> I'm happy to hear this. <laughs> I'm so happy. And um, about that young man, I, I want you to take him as your own. He is a good boy. The last time I experienced him. Wonder why you are so worried about a Casanova. A lousy lover boy who thinks of the best way to woo my daughter 
is by giving me flower and service. Well, <laughs> never mind. You will see what I will do to him. You will be the person to run away. The way you carry it back and run away from this house, <laughs> it will be a surprise to me. That was when I'm done with you. Hey, what do you mean, Mama? How did it go? Yeah, thank you. You're welcome. But I bet it's not a pleasant one for you. How could you speak for someone and then get a person to speak? How could you not speak with him? What's way to happen? How could we speak with you when he's practically a maid in that house? We will do the business. And anything we do might jeopardize his cover, which Chief almost did when he called him by name. The team was smart enough to cover him. The good news and what you are saying. I don't understand what both of you are saying about my son that you went to see. Actually, we did not go there to see him. What do you mean by you do not go to see Timothy? When did you see him? Uh, see, uh, it's not seen as you are saying it. See, brother, we went there on business. The chief went there, you know where you saw it. So, do you people see my son? Is he fine? Um, when there is a wrong call, I don't know if you understand. You put her on. Yes. When next Timothy visit again, I will definitely do my And I will stop all the day. Period. Because I don't understand all this. This one say this. This one say the other one. I don't understand. Please, help me to buy that thing I told you. Thank you very much. That's all right. Uh, tell Timothy that he should change to something and join me. Why? Can you let that young man be? He's been working all day. He's tired already. Can you hear yourself? <laughs> I should allow him to stay in the house with you and Kim. So when I come back, our stories will start flying around. You know what I mean? What do you mean by that? Just know when you start insulting me. And I take exception to that. You're not insulting me. What's that supposed to mean? I don't have your time. Where is it? Joko? Like that, his love is special. He knows my heart, yeah. He gives me joy. He gives me happiness. Yes, Chief. You know, I'm a very busy man, but I always keep to my promises. Hold on, let me get to you the contract. There is a man of his ways. Chief, I, I hope you can trust him. Document properly. No, I've made this entire thing. I'm aware. I'm aware of what the contract is all about. All right. There we go. So you have to sign at this particular place. Your signature and your name. Right. Uh, Chief, don't be too quick to sign. Sure. No, I, 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 I'm, I'm on it. I'm on it. 
All right side there, then flip. What is it? Right! With the information we gathered and with what you're telling us, it shows that you are avoiding so many things back from us. Oh, no, detective, not at all. I have told you everything you needed to know about this matter. Mr. Benjamin accosted me on the road with documents of the contract we needed to execute for me to sign to save time. And while we're on it, Timothy ran to us. The next thing we had was gunshot that took him to the hospital. And that's all. Chief, after interrogating your wife and your daughter, with the information we gather, it shows that the young man is not a stranger to this family. Oh, well, yeah, you're right. Not, not at all. He's not a stranger, yeah? Yes, sir. Then you should know more than you're telling me, Chief. Are you trying to cover up the thing? You can I said you've been working hand in hand with him. I don't see why the police will leave what happened and begin to ask us different questions. It means the police have been tracking Benjamin. Benjamin. Police should do this. They stopped that was right there. Like this. I have not seen someone that does not share anything with his family, but prefer to share it with outsiders. Maybe there are crimes Benjamin has committed which we do not know about. So by tomorrow, if people should, if police should find out, he should go in and start his punishment and then drag my family and I into this. No! Chief, I should be asking you. The way the police are after Benjamin, are you going to tell me it's just because Timothy was shot? Now let's tell ourselves the truth. Okay, look at it. The king you said you do not want him to get closer to is the person you sent to go spend the night with him with Francis at the hospital. Why didn't you go to stay with him instead? Rather send the children to go there. You were seven kids. Don't go, don't touch, don't smooch. And you sent her yourself to go stay with him overnight at the hospital, no?
Chief, for three days now, Benjamin is nowhere to be found. Even to check up on the young man that took a bullet for him, it's like a cause. Maybe he has an idea that your people are after him. Chief, he knows we've been after him for years. Just that he's been trying to keep himself clean. Though this time around, we have a lead that connects to why he was wanted dead. After many years? That's something deep. Yes, Chief. And if those and if those assassins after him tries to get him before us and couldn't, they will go after everything Benjamin loves and everything that is close to him. Yes, that's the way it works. Wait a moment. Which means my family's life is in danger. Chief, it's your call to make. Anyway, I will make one or two calls and I will get back to you. Always at your service, because there's no time. What is the meaning of this? Chief, what is the meaning of this? Huh? Yes, who are you? We are the officers of the law. Officer of which law? Federal Republic of Nigeria. Yes, you can. You have the right to remain silent, because whatever you say or do now will be used against you. Very beautiful advice. Just follow them. Chief, I want to get you correctly. What is the meaning of this nonsense you're creating here? We will explain to them when we get to the station. What is my offense? Police is your friend. Follow them. What is my offense? Move. I'll move you. Stay looking for things. Police is your friend. Follow them. They will not. They will not eat you. Chief, mark my words. You will regret this. You must regret this. You call this this yellow man for me? Huh? No problem. I will see your boss and both of you must be fired. Alright. Move it. Don't freaking touch me. Move it. Move. You heard don't him. He's talking forced. about fire. 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 You don't want to be forced. He should be searched. He has gone. Fire. After everything I did for you, Chief. You don't know who I am. Benjamin, one of Europe. You are messing with me. Mr. Benjamin, move it. Everything is not that funny and well. 
but determination in one's life matters. In this life, you must give to receive. If you give love, you must receive love. If you give it joy, you will feel joy. Big man turns to a big man. Big man does to a big man. He will listen. He will listen. Come man, as no say. Big man does to a big man. Now I get it. Now I understand the object. I can now see the light at the dark end of the tunnel. And I wonder several how you jumped in the gap to take. Who knows what would have happened? It could have been me in this your position. Even us. And I thought it this way. Many young men of your age would have preferred. Take the bullet and die. So they will have access to my daughter and take her completely. And I thought it this way. What kind of a boy are you? Yes. From the death of my Forgive me. I'm sorry. Despite my compagnon's attitude towards me, you still did not march. Thank you. So, good. It's all right. We forgive you for everything. Thank you. Thank you. Kim, the permission Timothy took was for his own good. He needs his father to take care of him as well. So worry not. That shouldn't stop him from calling me. Maybe his father did not allow him. He wants him to take proper rest. He's resting. He can't call. He can't send text message. Mama was there for him when he was at the hospital. Don't worry a lot. Can you let him be? It may break. Let me understand. If there is anything you know which I do not know, let me know now. <sighs> Only. <laughs> Son, I forbid you from making calls or texting. And if you mistakenly on any of your phones, for you to be contacted, honestly, whatever I tell you, you pray the love to take it from me. Right, and you hear what she's saying? Of course you hear me. You show stands with me. Yes. That's enough. Yeah. How on earth could you take bullets for a stupid person? And none of them did it fit to tell me what is going on. I've had enough of you in that house. 
It's high time you moved on to her. It's as simple as this. I know you're my parent. By no means do I disobey you. But I just need to make one call. Just one call. I'm sorry. That will be a good idea. If I force the adult to be sitting in this house all in the day. So, you won't like the idea of enforcing the idea of babysitting me in this house, all because of this nonsense. You keep reminding me of your impudent adventure, all in the name of looking for a future wife. Don't remind me of that. I understand that you're both my parents. I can't explain. All I'm just asking for is one call. Just walk on. That's enough. Allow him to come back. No, I don't think so. Do I also agree with you? I'm thinking to what you have a father's share to my nature. But I will be a man. I decided to stay back without trying to reach out to him. That wasn't the agreement. Yes, my parents may have treated him bad, but I didn't partake in that. He knows I love him. They have just reached out to me. Yeah, see, I, I know this is not the right thing to do, but I'll take my chances. I will go straight to their house. I need to talk. Yes, I have to go. I need to talk to them one on one. And you think they were welcome with the open house? Even if they did, I will go. I have tried my best. Other than sitting here and assuming this, this, this. Maybe, maybe something is even wrong with him. I need to get the details of what's going on. She's right, you know. Yes. As a woman, I will do the same. Until I'm sure I've gone wrong, I will stop. As a man, I'm telling you that it's not right to do That's why I have you here. That's why we're having this conversation. I'm proposing that you guys should go with me. So, when do you intend to go? I suggest you not. And if you don't see them, they will come Okay? I do. Let's wait till we get. If I don't get to hear from you, till we get. Fair enough. <laughs> Thank you, man. Thank you, love. But for your father to refuse you reconnecting to your second family, it's wrong. That's why I want you to talk to them. I don't want to disobey them and, and start a necessary war with my father. That's because you're a good son. Many would have welcomed the war, but it's a wrong choice. Thank you, father. Please, can we go now? The more we wait, the more time we waste, and the more things get out of hand. No, no, no problem. Ah, ah, ah. 
You are a driver? A printer correct to the party. Timothy here that you have manhandled all the while because he came for your daughter with my son. Eh? Eh? Wait, uh, uh. She feels like this is not time to be. Tell me you are not telling me the truth. Well, it wasn't my plan, so please. This all this work. Mm -hmm. I didn't know from the start. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I got a see. Wow. Hmm. Now I know the meaning. A simple man puts his reward from a different view. Before I decided to serve you and your family for one year, I've already made up my mind to agree to anything that you would do against me. It was a price I had to pay for the love I had for one year. It's not a good price. This type of price you pay for it. Is it what for that, Jensen? You want this to pay for all of us. Chippers <laughs> Akko, this is serious. In fact, the celebration will continue inside my house. Let me retaliate and revenge. <laughs> Let us go. Aye! Chippers Akko, follow me. Guys, I see you. I see you. Hey, come on, come on. You go to the gate. Good morning. Good morning. Hey, hey! I'm the gate. No, no, come on. I will do anything. For her sake, I can save you my life because of my love. Now my love, she's my true love. I must let her for her. And I'm full of love. Now my love, she's my true love. I must let her for her. And I'm full of love. Keep on. 